Installing proper trim with your metal roof is not just for aesthetics. It also ensures your roof is effective towards protecting your home from the elements. In this video, we're going to cover how to install Peak High E-Flashing. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing. In this video, we will cover Preparation of peak high eave flashing at a corner condition Overlapping peak trim Foam closure installation and fastening This video is brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing where you can buy factory direct and save 15 to 50% on your materials. Visit westernstatesmetalroofing.com to find the right material for your project. For this install, you will need carpenter's pencil, metal cutting snips, hand seamer, roofing gloves, screw gun or adjustable drill driver, double-sided beetle tape, foam closures, and silicone sealant screws, metal or wood, depending on your install. For the purpose of this video, red screws were used for demonstration purposes only. Preparing peak trim for corner conditions. Start by making a one inch mark along the edge of your trim. From the one inch line, mark a 45 degree line at the drip edge. On the top side of your trim, mark the width of your gable trim. You will then draw a line from this mark to the edge of your trim. At the center of your trim, cut a notch out to the one inch mark. Begin cutting along the following areas. Fold the remaining tab down 90 degrees. Foam closure placement. Using a carpenter's pencil, mark where your trim line ends. Lay a strip of double-sided beetle tape one inch from the mark. You may need to remove the top fastener of your gable trim to slide beetle tape underneath. Next, lay your foam closure along the top side of your butyl sealant tape. Silicone sealant will be placed on the top of the foam closures Overlapping peak trim. When measuring the distance of your trim, you should account for six inches needed at overlaps and one inch needed at ends. Start by notching out the hem six inches by half inch. This will allow the trim to fit into the adjacent piece. Silicone sealant should be placed on the lower trim. Fastening. Lap screws should be placed on the gable side edge as shown here. Clean off any excessive silicone sealant. 
When attaching the peak trim, the screws should line up with the foam closures. Prior to fastening the screws, you should snap a chalk line along the foam closures. This will help ensure that the screws not only go on straight, but also penetrate the foam. Whenever possible, you should align the peak trim fasteners with the screw lines on your roofing panels. You should place a fastener on the high seams on each side of the overlap. Additional fasteners should be placed on the back side of the peak trim, 12 inches on center. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe. You're